good evening. Um, probably, if it, if not the best, one of the best beginning beginnings of of the games uh, for us today. Uh, really, um, really uh, aggressive uh, in the first. I don't know how long, maybe. I think it was quite long in the first half, and uh, with uh, the tempo that we were looking for in the in the beginning of the of the first period, uh, fantastic attitude after a, a bad result two days ago, three days ago. Um, I think we played a very complete first half, uh, but usually we we. Usually we, we we talk about the about the last uh, touch in our chances today was more about the, maybe the about the second last uh, to precipitate in the in the last uh, third with uh, not not good decisions uh, in the last in the last 30 meters where we usually we are uh, uh, quite accurate not today uh, so even though we were I think very close to 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 find the goal uh, in the first 30 minutes uh, we should have been doing the things now much better, in my opinion. Then, uh, after the red card, the, the game uh, changed totally. Uh, it's, a, it's a long time for the opponent to deal with uh, one man down, so uh, they, they, all the teams in the world usually they do what, what uh, Richards Bay did uh, today, delay, uh, Play time, uh, sink. There's no spaces, so the spaces that we were using in the first half, that we did it uh, very comfortable finding the spaces behind the last line uh, with Hoto, with Salen, with Lepasa, with Shandu. I think we have uh, a huge amount of chances. The second half was totally different. The spaces were not there anymore, so uh, you need to be very precise. You need to be patient. You need to. Uh, try to occupy some certain spa certain spaces, and we 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 were not uh, or not not consistent looking for that patience in in our circulations. Anyway, I think uh, the guys did a a good job, and they um, they did more than enough today tonight to 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 get the lead, to get an advantage, and get the three points. What was impossible, we take one, and and yeah, we continue. Uh, well, uh, Richard is suspended, uh, accumulation of uh, yellow cards, uh, and uh, uh, Erasmus, he had a, a very small problem uh, in Sekukune, Sekukune's game, in Polo Kwane, uh, so uh, yeah, was was not available for today's game. Who did you ask me for somebody else? Only, yeah, yeah, that's the reason why they were not in the in the list. I said before already. Uh, usually, you need to in these type of scenarios, the 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 opponent do what they did. There was not a, a surprise. Two two lines of four players, uh, deep and and close and narrow. So you need to keep the 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 field very open. I think in that sense we did it well. We managed to find uh, Shandu uh, many times uh, many times open. Um, and in a, in a position where he can deliver uh, good passes, good crosses, we try to keep uh, the, the back four, their back four, as entertaining as possible with two strikers, uh, more positional than in the first half with Lepas and with Salen. We try with Chuk and with with Evanga to to have these four players um, far from our number tens and center midfielders. Uh, but for there were moments where. We were not patient enough. Our our tens or number eights, I don't know, however you want to call it, uh, we, we, we came too wide and too close to the ball. You need to guarantee that you don't have many players behind the ball in that type of a scenario. 
Uh, I think we managed to do it well in the first line, but then we were missing every time one more pass to to try to move one of the players in the last line out of the line and have a bit more space and time uh, for our forward players. So most of the chances came from uh, from uh, lateral crosses or cut passes from our wing backs, and we didn't find the touch. We didn't find the uh, the proper timing to filter one or two times the ball also in the central corridors where we could be um, yeah, much more dangerous, of course, because then you play out and the opponent has time usually to to get organized and defend uh, close to the keeper, and and you know it's a bit it's it's, it's a bit uh, it's not a bit it's quite quite difficult to to get the advantage. So, like I said, uh, I cannot say that I wouldn't like that, that my opponents are are playing with one player less. But in this case, the scenario of the game changed totally. We have a, the situation, you know really under control, more than in control, we have the situation where we want it and then in the second half we found an scenario that that it's difficult to deal with it but once again I think uh, we, we shot around 15, 16 times, uh, we have uh, 15 corners, I don't know the amount of uh, free kicks uh, around so I think we generate enough but again was was not possible today. Uh, no, no. No, no, absolutely. Uh, we know the reasons why we, we didn't get a good result in, in Polo Juan is done. Uh, we, the way you, you, you only need to see and, and, and check the way we, we approach the game today, the way that the guys start the game, the first minutes, the first half. Uh, we went, you know, really, really with uh, pure determination towards the goal and, and really commit with the the fact that we wanted to get uh, three points here at home and uh, and continue continue the good uh, good performances and good results that we were collecting recently here in Orlando. Uh, so it, this is, of course, we are a bit uh, upset today because we we, we were really uh, looking for the for the three points, like I said. But uh, the, the moral is this is just the beginning. This is gonna be here. Uh, uh, a tough season for everyone with not uh, no time to to lose the moral or the motivation or no not at all not at all i'm i'm not sure if i understood the question you mean uh they were holding too much on the ball holding I'm in this case sorry, but I'm disagree. Maybe could be two or three situations, uh, but not as a predominant action. If we go to the first half, the predominant action was uh, most of our progressions starting from the left, and and we progressed quite quick to the last phase uh, straight from Hotto or with uh, movements to the space from Le Pas and Salen. Uh, and then changes of orientation from also from Ino, uh, getting height with uh, with Londlo and sometimes with Moselle and finalizing with Shandu in the other side. So I think our first half was quite uh, fast football as we tried to play, it, going to the goal as soon as possible. And the only drivings that I remember so far uh, were more motivated for the position of our wing backs and sometimes coming inside with drivings. It's something that we try to provoke as well. Uh, to mobilize the back line and try to find movements behind. I, I think they did it uh, in that sense quite well. Then if, if one of our forward players sometimes hold the ball too much, I think this is natural in, in the forward players. They are used to sometimes solve the situations themselves. Uh, and if sometimes they are a bit selfish, I don't think that that is a negative thing, actually. I think the forward players needs to be also sometimes, you know, have that determination and that intention to to, to, to finalize the action themselves. Uh, the, it's the, like I said before, it's a tough competition. You see how difficult it is to win one game in the league, even to score one goal. Uh, nobody's getting, you know, uh, easy easy victories. Uh, no, it, this is just the beginning of the competition. We are in the first part of the season. October is going to be long for everyone. Uh, I'm sure that we're going to finish the, this first part of the season in the end of October. 
uh, with not a big gap between between the between the the top teams and not even a big gap in between the you know with the with the middle table. Uh, but let's see. This is just a prediction. I don't know what's going to happen, but. Uh, what what we cannot do is to you know win two games in a row and think that you know we're gonna you know destroy everyone. I'm not talking about us. I'm talking in general about everything. Me, the teams are are going through different moments during the season and 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 yeah, we are now in a moment where we still we are having problems to 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 capitalize uh, our offensive phase in in terms of uh, goals. And that's what is uh, keeping us far from the the possibility to to get three and three and three and be more consistent. But uh, the fact that we are a very competitive team in every phase of the game, in every one, we are a team with the capacity to to sink the opponent in their box, with the capacity to defend one result, to keep a clean sheet. We are a difficult team to deal with it in transitions. All of those things makes me feel, you know, uh, very positive. I'm, I'm a super optimistic person, like I said many times, and I'm sure that the, the breakdown is coming, and it's coming soon. And in the moment that we get that confidence and that determination also to, to start the games like we did it today, but in a, in a consistent way, like more times, not, not sometimes, we're going to be, if it's not on the top, very close, and it's going to be, I think it's going to be an interesting fight this season. Uh, with Le Pass, I call him, well, uh, just a tactical detail, you know, about, about our approach and uh, trying to, ex to explain him uh, how to give uh, one more solution to Maela, to Ino, in our building up because of one, one specific situation that was happening there in between Le Pasa, Joto, and Maela. Uh, things to improve in, in our attack, what I was a bit upset in the beginning, I think today we cannot talk about the last touch, not too much, in my opinion, and we can talk more about the second last. Like I said before, I think we, uh, we had a uh, I'm, I'm talking with what I saw, you know, uh, life there in the game, but I remember many, many situations that we should finish with a simple thing, and we try to do something not, not so simple, like more complicated. So we need to work on that. And uh, update uh, about... about Uh, well, he hasn't been available the last uh, one and a half month, I think, after Super Sport game, and uh, I hope he's, he's going to make it soon. Uh, we spoke about what happened in, in that game uh, already. Uh, who else? Uh, evidence is uh, it's it's now training training with the group uh, since uh, maybe one week ago, so it's it's uh, it's uh, it's close. Now getting the rhythm, training, training with the group, and uh, yeah, that's it. I think so far every every Pirates fan can feel, and I can guarantee them that they can be proud of the efforts that the boys are doing every single day. Uh, the level of commitment it's uh, so high, and uh, I'm extremely uh, surprised about how quick. Uh, the guys are uh, reducing uh, times, the proper times that you have in, in every process when you start to build something from, not from zero, uh, but from, from the base, like, like we did. Uh, there's uh, many things that, like I said before, makes me feel uh, yeah, extremely optimistic about the future of the team. Uh, we prove uh, how competitive we can be in every single scenario in both competitions, the both two competitions that we play at the moment. And uh, like I said before, uh, I know that fans are, n well, they are, or they, they want to see the team winning games and uh, talk about the process when we don't get the result that we all were looking for. Uh, it's not maybe it's not maybe what what they want to listen. I know I'm on the I'm on the map. I know where I am, 
uh, but the only thing that we can do is it's uh, work work like a, like a, like a, you know super professionals every morning and that's what the guys are doing and that's the only thing that you can do if you can have success in life and uh, what the work that they are doing is exceptional and the results uh, are going to be the consequence of that so let's see where we are all of us you know in in the end of the season and let's do the analysis or the deep analysis in that moment and not after nine or ten or eleven games.